Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to Brian Reagan Boo Sailboat. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Years ago, I was a campaign manager for a dog. I'm not lying, I was a campaign manager for a dog. I'm not making this up. You guys know, uh, remember Bud Light had Spuds McKenzie? Yeah, yeah? I well, I wasn't qualified to be his campaign manager. <laughs> <laughs> but I was the campaign manager for Alex the dog from the Stroh's beer commercials. <laughs> now, Stroh's beer used to be one of the most popular beers in the country, and then I got involved. <laughs> The Stroh's uh, ads, they would have, uh, Alex would go get beers for his owner and everybody loved the ads. So they thought, let's capitalize on this. Let's have him run for president of the United States. So, yeah. So Alex can't talk because he's a dog. So they thought, let's get like a funny campaign manager. And that's where I failed miserably. <laughs> And what they would do is they want us to go around to different cities and we had to do like six, seven, eight events a day with this dog and I had to do this campaign speech <laughs> to get this dog elected. I'm not exaggerating when I say that every single one of these events was worse than any hell gig I've ever <laughs> done before or since. <laughs> and I had like eight a day. We would have to do radio stations. We wouldn't bring Alex, because he's a dog. <laughs> and can't talk. And we'd show up, and they'd go, where's Alex? And I'm like, well, I don't know if they told you, but Alex is a dog. He ain't got no vocal cords or nothing. I don't know if that's true, but... He can't talk. And I said, I'm Brian, I'm his campaign manager. I'm gonna do all the talk. And they go, ah! I'm like, damn. <laughs> we go into the studio and they would have a microphone on the floor <laughs> with a bowl of water. <laughs> and they would say, we were hoping we get him to bark into the microphone. And I'm like, I gotta get a manager or something. <laughs> because I'm getting upstaged by a dog that ain't here. <laughs> we would have to go to malls, supermarkets, uh, and I had to like try to get the dog elected. And um, <laughs> I would say, man, he's a great dog. You really, look at him, man. You should vote for him. He's got great ideas. And the handler for the dog would sometimes just say, Alex needs a break, and he'd just tug on his leash, and he'd just leave <laughs> for like 20 minutes to a half an hour. I needed a guy with a leash. <laughs> Tugging on me, Brian needs a break. I was getting no breaks. So I would, I would tell the Stroh's people, what do you want me to do while Alex is gone? And they would say, well, just do the campaign speech anyway. And I'm like, there's no dog here. <laughs> they say, do it anyway. So as people are walking by, I go, man, he's a fantastic dog. You really got to hear his ideas. People are looking, going, what, what is this guy talking about? There's no dog. <laughs> Somebody should get a straight jacket for this guy. It was horrible. Every th I, I was having nightmares at night. I was literally having nightmares. I would wake up in the middle of the night, go, ah, 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 ah. And then I didn't know what, whether it was better to go back to sleep or to stay awake, because both of them were hell on earth. It ended up, we were in Minneapolis. This is true. I get in the car in the morning, and they said, all right, here's the deal. Bom uh, Brian, you're going to bomb in the morning on the radio, and then you're going to bomb at the supermarket, then you're going to bomb on local TV, then you're going to bomb at a pub, and then tonight we're going to an NHL hockey game. It's between the Minnesota North Stars against the Chicago Blackhawks. And I said, great, so when we're done, we get to like enjoy a hockey game. They said, we're not going to be done. You're going to go on center ice between second and third period, and you're going to do the campaign speech to get this dog elected. Now, at this point, we were in the car going about 60 miles an hour. If I'd been smart, I would have opened the door <laughs> and just 
taken my chances with the roadside gravel. We get to the hockey arena that night, my heart is pounding. I'm from Miami, Florida. I've never been to a hockey match. I'd never seen ice. I don't want to do this. I don't want anything to do with this. During second period, there's a fight, an NHL fight, gloves off, blood, teeth, all over the place. And I'm thinking, wow, this is cool. I've never seen a hockey fight. And then I went, wait, I have to follow a hockey fight. <laughs> Buzzer oh. ended. <laughs> Stroh's people came up and said, we're going to do something a little different, Brian. What we're going to do is we're going to put Alex on the Zamboni. <laughs> and we're going to drive him around and just let him circle around the arena on the Zamboni. I said, fantastic, so you don't need me. They said, oh no, you're still going out there to center ice to do the campaign speech, but we thought it would be nice if Alex <laughs> is We're circling you on the Zamboni. I'm like, can't you think of any more obstacles? <laughs> Why don't we get an NHL guy to fire some slap shots at me? Aw, come days. on. You'll never have to queue again. So no more waiting at the checkout tills, because they're so they get on the uh, voice of God. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the Stroh's beer commercials, Alex the dog. And the Zamboni comes out. Alex is like confused. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting next to the driver. The crowd is going berserk. They just saw a hockey fight. Now they're seeing a dog and a Zamboni. <laughs> they're plenty entertained. <laughs> right. They don't need to see what is about to happen. <laughs> Run! And now, please welcome the campaign manager, <laughs> Brian Regan. They don't explain that I'm his campaign manager. <laughs> they don't say he's running for president. There's no Nothing. context whatsoever. <laughs> Just please welcome the campaign manager, Brian Regan. So I walk out, I'd never been on ice, so I don't want to go fast. I'm just walking slow to 12,000 people going, who the hell is this guy? I slowly walk out to center ice and I'm thinking, who, who am I, who am I? <laughs> why, why am I, and I'm looking around, I'm seeing just Alex going by on the Zamboni and I keep turning the opposite direction and I just keep seeing him. And I'm like, what happened to me and my life that I'm here now? <laughs> what choices have I made to be here now? 12,000 completely confused people. I'm not smart enough to reset and go, hey, he didn't tell you Alex is running for president. I don't say nothing. I just go, hey, how about that election, huh? <laughs> what election? 12,000, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy talking about? And I said, you know, a lot of people think this election is going to the dogs. <laughs> we might as well vote for somebody who's qualified. <laughs> people start booing. I start hearing this low boo, boo, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and I just keep turning around, and everywhere I look, I just see round lips, boo. <laughs> I see Alex going by, what the heck's going on? <laughs> so I figure, well, maybe I'll get him with the next joke. Uh, Bush and Dukakis. Dukakis, that sounds like something Alex might do in a bush. <laughs> now they're all booing. Now it's unanimous. It's the loudest thing I'd ever heard. It was louder than any jet engine. It was... Boo! <laughs> and, I, and I just, I thought, well, it's not smart to face the booze. I'll turn around. Like over here, it's going to be people throwing roses. <laughs> over here, boo! Everywhere, round lips. Kids, boo! Little old ladies, boo! The Zamboni driver was booing. <laughs> Alex was booing. So I'm thinking, this ain't doing nobody no good. I said, well, 
You guys have been great. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to come out and have a good time with you. So, good night! <laughs> <laughs> with all the circling, I couldn't remember what direction I had come from. So, I'm just walking going, I don't think this is the right way. <laughs> <laughs> and I see this guy with a security vest going, <laughs> so I have to turn. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and from the fight, there were blood and teeth all over. I had to move. I didn't want to go fast because I didn't want this to be the end. <laughs> and I look at the exit, and it's this little square rectangle, and it looks like it's a million miles away. And the closer I get, the smaller the rectangle gets. <laughs> it's like mathematically impossible. <laughs> so I realized with the booze, I didn't even need to walk. Boo! All I had to do was stop, and the force of the booze was push it was like a boo sailboat <laughs> i just put my arms out and it literally pushed me through the little hole and the next day stroh's filed for bankruptcy <laughs> you guys are great man thank you that's good i like that so that was brian regan earlier in the video i said brian reagan for some reason it's supposed to be brian regan and that was boo sailboat and it was an absolute hilarious bear i really did enjoy that and i feel sorry for the guy for going through this shit man i remember even in class you know when teacher points and goes like you're gonna read the next paragraph and you're just standing there the whole class looking at you and that was hard enough but having a whole stadium staring at you and booing you is something it's like every individual's nightmare it's like it's the worst oh man worst experience but he turned it into an absolute brilliant comedy bit that's why he's a comedian that's why he can use his life experience and make everybody else laugh i really did enjoy that and i'm looking forward to doing more brian regan so keep an eye out for that meanwhile check out my other videos and like subscribe share and leave a comment i'll see you guys next time